again, hola, and thank you for choosing to watch another instalment from here at my YouTube channel, Benidorm and Beyond. Today's vlog takes you on an early evening walk along a section of Quai Girona, or the Strip, with the footage you will see filmed around 8pm, when in the summertime many people are still coming off the beach or having dinner, but let's have a look anyway. We started just across from the famous Morgan Tavern cabaret venue, known as Neptune's Bar in the ITV series Benidorm, and next to the last stop bar and hotel Riador and then panned round showing the nearby hotels of The Flash, Calypso and Rosamar before walking past the entrance to the four-star Ambassador Player One whilst dodging an EasyJet holiday coach, dropping off eager holiday makers at the main entrance. Drinks offers and live acts for the night ahead are displayed on the wall outside for the Explorers Bar, which is owned by the hotel and can be accessed from inside or on the adjacent street and there are handy drinks and snacks vending machines here too, for refreshments on the go. Negotiating round a mobility scooter, which are ever present here in Benidorm and undoubtedly ideal for those with genuine mobility issues, we then take a look across to the other side of the road, where we see the Times Square Bar and Restaurant, the double-fronted premises of John and Joseph's and JJ's, which are now amalgamated, although one side currently remains shut, and then a mini-mart, kebab and curry house, and the souvenir and gift shop of Narogi. If you'd like to support my channel and future vlogs by making a small donation, you can now buy me a coffee, or even two or three. Just click on the down arrow next to the vlog title which brings you to the description of this video. Then follow the link provided at the bottom, it's really that simple. Thank you so much. To our right, we then head into the grounds of the Ambassador Playa Hotels, where we can see the two accommodation buildings with their iconic pink balconies as well as the shared swimming pool and sunbathing areas which get hugely busy by day. At night live entertainment is laid on on their outdoor stage and cabaret area which anyone is welcome to go in and watch as long as they buy a drink of course. Acts currently start at 8.15pm with other activities laid on in the tropical beach house bar inside the hotel and I uploaded a full information vlog on these popular strip side hotels just a week or so ago with an unbiased look inside and out. To find this video just search Fly on the Wall Ambassador on YouTube and all the details will be at your fingertips. Back on the pavement again we continue past the main entrance to the Ambassador Playa 2 Hotel which abuts the always busy Western Saloon Bar which, since its complete renovation, now boasts a fabulous outdoor terrace as well as a spacious air-conditioned interior all on one level with live guitarists and singers starting here from as early as 4pm all the way through until gone 2 o'clock in the morning. After passing a Banco Santander ATM and the entrance to residential apartment block Edificio Dalila, we then come to the Hotel California Bar with its attractive outdoor terrace with a surf and beach vibe with colourful mint and mustard seating and bunting fluttering gently overhead. Cabaret acts start inside the venue at 4.30pm, except for at the weekend when showing live football matches takes priority until 8 o'clock in the evening and from then on in you can enjoy a selection of drinks offers as well as some of the best entertainment in the resort with all genres of music covered from rock, pop and soul to disco beats, crooners and musicians. Next along is the Crown Pub, who have a huge variety of drinks deals advertised, along with cabaret and sports, and a pool table for their customers use too. Every day they offer 5 euro cocktails until 5pm, along with giant fish bowls, bucket deals, free shots and two for one on local spirits and mixers, so it's an ideal spot to get the party started at the right price. This takes us to the corner junction with Avenida Almeria, where to the right you would find Mateo's Bar and the town cabaret venue, but by crossing over immediately ahead of us, we see the Insomnia nightclub, which used to be the Stardust Fun Pub. After an extensive revamp and refit, it reopened in April this year and has now become a clubber's paradise with live DJs, light shows and dancers nightly until the wee early hours. It's here that we end today's vlog and I hope that you've enjoyed this early evening stroll with me, maybe taking you past some of your favourite Benidorm haunts and venues. If you did enjoy watching and listening along with me, then please check out some of my other videos which cover a huge variety of different subjects, including reviews on lots of the resort's most popular hotels, cafes and bars, as well as tons of news bulletins and updates on things that are happening here around the town. Thanks so much for watching and hopefully I'll catch you again soon for another episode from Benidorm and Beyond. Until then, take care and enjoy the vlogs and I'm off for a beer to cool down. 
Bye for now and cheers.